Happy morning, my dear children. We are starting the lesson in organic chemistry. Especially today, we are learning about the oxidation of uh, glycerol and oxidation of ethylene glycol. The oxidation is very very important question. About the glycerol and also the ethylene glycol, first step about the alcohol, that is alcohol functional group, alcohol OH group, the first step is converted into aldehyde. That is the concept. The aldehyde is converted into an acid. Don't forget that. The OH group is converted into an aldehyde, that is CHO. The CHO is converted into acid. This is the basic concept. Don't forget the basic concept about the primary alcohol, alcohol group. Okay? One of an alcohol, that is CH2O guys. About the ethylene glycol, CH2O is CH2. Am I right? The first step. CH2O guys is converted into CH2O aldehyde. This aldehyde is converted into, that is CH2O is converted into acid. So we can write the equation, it's a very important question. And also don't forget that the nitriting agent, don't forget the nitriting agent, that is concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid. This is about the nitriting agent. Here nitric acid can be written as, what is the formula for nitric acid? HNO3. This can be written as H2O NO2. Okay, don't write H2O NO3. H2O NO2. While we are writing, uh, we can be easily replace the water molecules. Okay, anyhow, please take a note all of you. We can write the equation. Very important question. Oxidation of glycerol and also oxidation of ethylene glycol. To learn about the oxidation of glycol and oxidation of glycerol. Okay. About the oxidation, all of you know that what? What is about the oxidation? Uh, Addition of oxygen and homol of hydrogen and also the loss of the electron about the oxidation. Here, glycol formula. What is about the glycol formula? CH2OH. CH2OH. We are saying that what? Ethylene glycol. Am I right? What is the formula for ethylene glycol? CH2OH. CH2 OH. Okay. One more thing. You should be learn about the molecular formula also. That also a very useful for the problem solving. Okay. Anyhow, how much carbon is there? 2 carbon. C2. How much hydrogen is there? 2 plus 1, 3. Again, 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 3, 6 hydrogen. 6 hydrogen. And oxygen also have 2 oxygen. So the molecular formula for ethylene glycol, ethylene glycol. The molecular formula for ethylene glycol is C2H6O. Okay. So this is the uh, formula for ethylene glycol. This undergoes oxidation, oxidation with nitric acid. Or alkaline potassium permanganate. We are using one of an oxidizing agent. Okay. Which oxidizing agent we are using is here nitric acid, that means HNO3, nitric acid, and also alkaline potassium permanganate. Potassium permanganate. There, this is an oxidizing agent. Here, First, what is happening here? Undergoes oxidation. The hydrogen combines with oxygen. The hydrogen combines with oxygen. We get the water, am I right? So, CH2OH is converted into CH2O. Okay? CH2OH is converted into CH2O. That is CH2O. Here, CH2OH. So, the product is about the glycolic aldehyde. Product is what? Glycolic aldehyde. Anyhow, again undergoes oxidation. Again undergoes oxidation. Here, oxygen is added here. So, the product is COOH. What is the product? C. O O H that is aldehyde is converted to acid that is C O O H 
C guy C two O guy C. Okay, here already it is converted as acid. So the name of the compound. What is about the name of the compound is glycolic acid. Glycolic acid. Okay, and then. Again, this undergoes oxidation. This glycolic acid again undergoes oxidation. The same process here. C H. This hydrogen combines with oxygen to form here C H O. What's the product here? C H O. Okay. Again, the product is also glyoxalic acid. Okay. The name of the compound is glyoxalic acid. Like oxalic acid. Okay? Again, this undergoes oxidation. This undergoes oxidation. Here the oxygen is added here. So COOH here also COOH. 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 Okay, the name of the compound is oxalic acid. Okay, you can understand about that. What is about the first step? This is the ethylene glycol. Ethylene glycol. This ethylene glycol undergoes oxidation with oxidation like uh, nitric acid and also alkaline potassium permanganate. Here, the first step the hydrogen combines with the oxygen to form water. So, the CH2O is converted into CH2O. So, what is the name of that compound? A glycolic aldehyde. Glycolic aldehyde. Okay. Again, the first step is CHO undergoes oxidation to form COOH. Am I right? First step, the COOH. We get the CHO is converted into COOH. So the name of the compound is glycolic acid. Again, undergoes the second step. CH2OH is uh, their product is. On react the hydrogen combines oxygen to form here the oil again. So the name of the compound is glyoxalic acid. Again, we are adding oxygen to form oxalic acid. This is the first step. Next about the second step. What is about that? Here the glycolic oil again undergoes oxidation. Okay, glycolic oil again undergoes oxidation here. The hydro 2 combines with oxygen. H2 combines oxygen. So CH2OH is converted into CH2. So name of the compound CH. CH2O. CH2. Clyoxol. The name of the compound is what? Clyoxol. Clyoxol. Here. The glyoxol undergoes oxidation. The glyoxol undergoes oxidation. This undergoes oxidation. Adding oxygen. So the compound is COOH. COOH. We get COOH. CHO. CHO. Glyoxalic acid. Okay. This is about the oxidation of glycol. One of the two more questions. Oh, sorry, one of the three mark question about the uh, ethylene glycol undergoes oxidation. Okay, please all of you write this one. I, I, otherwise, mark it the textbook also. Okay, uh, which are the reacting agent. Okay, anyhow, this is about the oxidation of uh, glycol. Okay, oxidation of glycol. And also, one more point is about the oxidation of uh, glycerol. It's a very important question. Okay, oxidation of glycerol. Can you see what is the formula for glycerol? CH2OH, 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 am I right? What is the formula for glycerol? ZH2OH, sorry, CH2OH. CH2OH, CH2OH. CH2OH. Okay. This whenever you are writing the formulas, the bond must be carbon carbon. Okay. Carbon carbon. The bond must be carbon carbon. Don't put the carbon carbon with the hydrogen or hydrogen also like that. Don't put. Uh, 
we should be mentioned like that carbon carbon or like that okay carbon 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 okay h2oh 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 clear like that okay this undergoes oxidation glycerol the name of the compound is glycerol glycerol the name of the compound is glycerol here we have what is the molecular formula of glycerol what is the molecular formula how much carbon is there three carbon so c3 how much hydrogen is there two plus one three four five five plus two seven and eight so hydrogen eight what is about oxygen one two three so oxygen so what is the molecular formula of glycerol c3 h8o3 what is the formula molecular formula of glycerol c3 h8o3 okay this is the molecular formula what is about the structural formula of glycerol ch2oh 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 okay we have what is about the first oxidation alpha beta gamma gamma this atom is there alpha beta and gamma okay we have the first two things undergoes oxidation first alpha carbon okay anyhow first oxidation h2 combines with oxygen the hydrogen combines with oxygen to form water so we get the product is c h2 o c h2 o is converted to c h2 o that is alcohol is converted to aldehyde previous video i told you that alcohol is converted into aldehyde and aldehyde is converted to an acid this is a step concept okay here we have first step and alcohol is converted to an aldehyde that is ch2oh is converted to ch2o ch2o aldehyde second step ch2oh third step ch2oh okay the name of the compound is glycerolic aldehyde Sorry, glycerol aldehyde. Glycerol aldehyde. Okay. Anyhow, now the aldehyde is converted to an acid. Aldehyde is converted to an acid. Under those oxidation, the CHO is converted to acid. That means COOH. Okay, COOH. COOH. Then the name of the compound is glyceric acid. Glyceric acid. Here, yeah. next up, this glyceric acid undergoes oxidation. The glyceric acid undergoes oxidation. Here we can take two oxygen. The hydrogen combines with oxygen to form water. Hydrogen combines oxygen to form water. So, the remaining oxygen is added here. So, we get COOH. What's the product? COOH. That is, the upper so COOH. Second step, CHOH. Third step, COOH. Clear? Have it up. Here we are taking two more oxygen. Okay. So, one of the hydrogen combines to one oxygen to form water. The other oxygen will be attached here. So, we get COOH. The name of the compound is tartaric acid. Tartaric acid here. Come down. Can you write the first step? This reaction is going on only the alpha hydrogen atom. That is the first carbon atom. First carbon atom. That means the first CH2OH. The alcohol is converted to an acid. For that, the first CH2. That H2 combines with oxygen to form water molecules. So we get the alcohol is converted to an aldehyde. So the first step is CH2O. CH2OH, CH2OH. So the name of the compound is glycerol DH. The next one, the concept is the alcohol is converted to aldehyde. The aldehyde is converted to an acid. So again, we are adding oxygen. So the compound is COOH. CH2O plus O gives COOH. Am I right? So the first step is COOH, CH2OH, CH2OH. The name of the compound is glyceric acid. 
Next, last carbon, that is uh, gamma carbon. Here, the third carbon we are using here. Here, both oxidation, here means the first, we are taking two oxygen. One of the oxygen combines with the hydrogen to form water. Again, we are adding one more oxygen. So, we get again acid. So, the name of the compound is about the tartonic acid. Which acid? Tartonic acid. Clear? Yeah. Next, we about that. Beta carbon atom. Okay. Beta carbon atom on reacting. Okay. What is the product? Okay. Here. This hydrogen combines with oxygen. The hydrogen combines with oxygen. Already we know that the glycerol formula. Not here. Beta carbon. Beta carbon means. Okay. Here. First formula about the glycerol CH2O right? CH2O right? CH2O right? CH2 2 right? C guys two oh right. There. This is about the glycerol. Alpha, beta, gamma, uh, gamma, alpha, beta, gamma. Here, the from the beta, here hydrogen, uh, hydrogen and oxygen we get water. What's the remaining product? C guys O H is converted into C O. Am I right? C O. So what's the name of the compound here? C guys two O H. C O. C guys two O H. Dihydroxy acetone. The name of the compound is dihydroxy. Dihydroxy acetone. Okay, have a doubt? Dihydroxy acetone. This undergoes oxidation. This undergoes oxidation. Okay. Again, we are taking oxygen. Oxygen. Okay, we are taking four accelerators. Here, hydrogen combines with oxygen to form water, again adding oxygen. Okay? Here also, the hydrogen combines with oxygen to form water, again adding oxygen. So, the CH2OH is converted into COOH. Okay? That is COOH, CO, COOH. That is, we are saying that mesooxalic acid. Mesooxalic acid. Here, the mesooxalic acid undergoes oxidation. We get carbon dioxide and COOH, 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 COOH. That is about the oxalic acid plus CO2. This is not as you know that one. Oxalic acid. Oxalic acid. Okay, plus CO2. Okay, oxalic acid plus CO2. You can be take like that. Okay, oxalic acid and CO2. Here, the tartonic acid, this undergoes oxidation, this product undergoes oxidation, hydrogen, uh, hydrogen and oxygen. So we get water, we get what? Mesooxalic acid. Mesooxalic acid. This is about the reactions about the oxidation of glycol. Okay, so one of the very important questions, please, all of you try to learn this question. If you have any doubt, please call me, okay? These are the important questions. Next one about that. In between the glycol, we have uh, a few more reactions. About the, about the glycol, we have some few more reactions. That is, what happens? Ethylene glycol on reacts with concentrated sulfuric acid. Very important question. How is one come of a dioxane prepared? That's a question. How is 1 comma 4 a dioxane prepared? 1 comma 4 a dioxane prepared. A ethylene glycol formula what? CH2OH. CH2OH. This is I am I am going to write linear shape. Okay, that means start with hydrogen. H O CH2 CH2OH. The name of the compound is ethylene glycol. This ethylene glycol, I am taking to one more moles. This H O C H 2 C H 2 O H. 
This one react with the concentrated sulfuric acid. Concentrated sulfuric acid. So what is happening here? Hydrogen combines oxygen to form water. Here also hydrogen combines oxygen to form. Sorry, hydrogen combines to OH to form water. Hydrogen combines to OH to form water. Hydrogen combines with OH to form water. So we can rewrite this one. Start with oxygen. Oxygen take the center. CH2, second one, CH2, next oxygen, oxygen, next CH2, CH2, O. Okay, we can give the number starting the oxygen 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 4, 1, 4. So, 1, comma 4, dioxin. Okay, how is the dioxin preferred? Please, all of you write it very important this year. Okay, very very important question. Very hard. Next one. How is 1 comma 3? 1 comma 3 trihydroxy propane prepared. Okay, that's a question. How is 1 comma 2 comma 3 trihydroxy propane prepared? Otherwise, how is TNG, TNG. What is about the TNG? Trinitroglycerin. Trinitroglycerin. How is trinitroglycerin prepared? First of all, you should write the glycerol formula. What is about the glycerol formula? CH2OH, CH2OH, CH2OH. This is the formula for glycerol. Here, glycerol. This all on reacts with concentrated nitric acid and also concentrated sulfuric acid. Concentrated sulfuric acid and also concentrated nitric acid. Concentrated nitric acid formula what? HNO3. HNO3. Here the HNO3 can be written as HNO2. Here NO3 having we are converted to NO2. So we can return as plus HONO2. Nitric acid can be written as HONO2. HONO2. We are taking 3 moles. HONO2. How much moles we are taking? 2 moles. Sorry, 3 moles. Okay. How much moles we are taking? 3 moles. The hydrogen combines with OH2 form water. Hydrogen combines with OH2 form water. Hydrogen combines with OH to form water. Totally we get 3 moles of water. And also what is the remaining product? CH2O NO2. CH2O NO2. CH2O NO2. That we are saying trinitroglycerin. CH2O NO2. CH2O NO2. CH2O NO2. Trinitroglycerin otherwise called. 1 comma 2 comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 trinitro trinitroxy propane trinitroxy propane this is about the uh, reaction of glycerol with nitrating mixture what is about the nitrating mixture the concentrated nitric acid and the concentrated sulfuric acid is called what nitrating mixture okay don't forget that anyhow the next one is about the dehydration of glycerol dehydration of this are all. Okay. How do you know about that dehydration? What is about the dehydration? Can you see what is about the dehydration? Removal of water. Am I right? Dehydration. Removal of water. Okay. Anyhow, what is the formula for this all? CH2OH. 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 Okay, yes sir. This undergoes reacting with some of the dehydrating agent. Dehydrating agent that is concentrated sulfuric acid and also one more is about that potassium bisulfate. Don't forget that. KHSO4. Potassium bisulfate. Okay, potassium bisulfate. Okay, here dehydration reaction. So how will you write means? 
OH combines with hydrogen to form water. Okay, OH combines with OH to form water. Hydrogen combines with O to form water. So, total how much water is removing? We get two water is also removing. So, what is the remaining product? Can you see what is the remaining product? The remaining product is CH2, CH, CH2O. Okay, that is CH2, CH, carbon balance, you also know that one, that is this four. So, make it here double bond here. CHO. Okay, so the name of the compound is acolin. Acolin. Okay, name of the compound is acolin. Next, about the oxidation, about that, already we learned that one oxidation. And about the uses, about that, all of you know about the uses of alcohols. Uh, that is, uh, first one is about the methanol uses. You know, first one is about the methanol is used for paints, paints, varnish, select, gum, cement, etc. Okay, these are the use of methanol and also they are using for drugs. Drugs is for medicine, okay. Perfumes. And formaldehyde. These are the manufacture of drugs, perfumes, and uh, formaldehyde. This is only for methanol. Okay, methanol. Methanol is used for uh, the solvent for paints, varnish, uh, cellar, gums, and cement. What is about the other one? About the manufacture of drugs, that we are saying some medicines, you bought in some, some medicine, perfumes, and also the formaldehyde. Okay, next about the ethanol, about paint and varnish, Second one, we are preparing some compounds. Compounds like ether, chloroform, ether, chloroform, etc. And about the transparent soap, very very important point. Transparent. Dice. These are the about the uses of uh, ethanol and one more use is about that uh, we are used as a fuel as a airplane that is power alcohol okay a substitute for petrol that is about that power alcohol and also preservative for biological specimens okay Next about that, uh, ethylene glycol, what are the uses of ethylene glycol? It is used for only now we will learn about that TNG, that is about the trinitro B7 TNG. Okay. That's a very important about that uh, ethylene glycol. And about the another one, and it's an automobile. Okay, and if it's an important automobile radiator. This is about the uses of ethylene glycol. Okay.
ethylene glycol is uh, used as an antifreeze automobile radiator and on as the explosive when i say yes that's the explosive with tnc that's trying nitro uh is right okay try nitro is right okay next one is about that uh, uses of glycerol Okay. It is used as a manufacturer of cosmetic. Transparent. Soap. Okay. Uh, glycol. This is sorry, glycerol. It is used as the manufacturer of cosmetic and also transparent to uh, soap and also second is about the printing inks. Stamp paintings. Next one is uh, explosive, like very very important about that. Explosive. Dynamics. Okay, dynamics. Okay, we say very important question about that. Uh, uses. Okay, try to learn about the uses of alcohol. And so one of the important uh, uh, three mark and five mark question. Okay. Here you uh, One more question. You should be learned that one about the catalytic dehydrogenation. Uh, catalytic dehydrogenation of ethanol and one more reaction is about the esterification reaction this two equations also try to learn this question okay Catalytic dehydrogenation of alcohol. Okay, here we are taking one of an alcohol that is about the primary alcohol CH3, CH2, OH, on reacts with the copper at 573 Kelvin. Okay, here the concept, try to learn this concept, the alcohol is converted to aldehyde. Okay, so anyhow, here the hydrogen group is converted to aldehyde. Okay, and about the oxidation, so we get water anhydride. Water here we can be say that dehydrogenation that is removal of hydrogen. Okay, removal of hydrogen. Hydration means removal of water here. Removal of hydrogen here about the dehydrogenation. So we get CH3 CEHO. Okay, acetaldehyde other one is called ethanol. Ethanol. Okay. Next one, uh, about the propane to what? What is the formula for propane to what? CH3, CH, CH3, OH, propane to what? Propane, the second carbon has the number 2, so propane to what? Am I right? Here this undergoes reaction with the copper at 573 Kelvin, 573 Kelvin. So here removal of, removal of hydrogen, so what is the product here? CH3, CO, CH3, CH3, CO, CH3. That is called an acetone. Otherwise, it's called a propanone. Okay, acetone. Acetone is the common name. Otherwise, it's called a propanone. One, two, three. Okay, propanone. Propanone, three carbon is there. So, if the acetone, CO group having it, the secondary suffix is about one. Ends with the one. So, number of carbon three, that is prop. Prop here have a single bond. So, A and E, uh, functional group is CO. CO is the right one. So, we get propanone. Okay. E is also prop. Okay. E is also prop here. So, we get propanone. Okay. The third one is about that. Tertiary butyl alcohol. Okay. Tertiary butyl alcohol only. Dehydration reaction takes place. Don't forget that. Here the catalytic dehydrogenation, primary and secondary alcohol having only dehydrogenation. About the tertiary butyl alcohol, it is about that dehydration. What is about the dehydration? 
Dehydration means removal of water. Here, removal of hydrogen. Here also removal of hydrogen. The third one is about the removal of removal of water. That's the regular organic formula. CH3, C, CH3, CH3, OH. One of the OH combines with hydrogen to form water. And we are using the reagent that is copper at 533 573 Kelvin, okay? 573 Kelvin, okay? Here, OH is combined to hydrogen to form water. So we get isobutylene, can be written as CH3, C, CH3, double bond CH2. Isobutylene, double bond CH2, otherwise called. 2 methyl prop 1 e 2 methyl 1 2 3 2 second carbon having methyl 2 methyl number of carbon 3 prop and having double bond so e 2 methyl prop 2 e okay next about that esterification reaction Esterification reaction is very important. What is about the esterification? That means alcohol combines with acid in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid. Alcohol combines with acid in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid. We get what? Esterification reaction. The very important question. Uh, one of the fruity smell called esterase. One of the food is smell. Here we are using one of an uh, alcohol and acid. Okay, first of all, I am writing the acid, one of the carboxylic acid. That is CH3COOH. Okay, CH3COOH. This is one of the carboxylic acid, that is called acetic acid. This acetic acid on react ethyl alcohol formula CH3CH2OH. Okay, okay, I am. Uh, writing start with the OH, so we can write a H O CH2 CH3 the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid. The presence of concentrated sulfuric acid, one of the hydrogen combines the OH to form water molecules. One of the hydrogen combines OH to form water molecules. What's the remaining product here? CH3 start with the here CH3 COO C2 H other C2 H5 are. CH2CH3 that is CH3COOCH2CH3. The name of the compound is ethyl ethonate. The name of the compound is ethyl ethonate. Okay? Otherwise, ethyl acetate. Or ethyl ethonate. Okay, this is called COOH group. COOH group that is called ester. Okay, ester, don't forget that. Ester, one of the fruity smell. Okay, next about the reaction with glyco with phosphorus. Phosphorus I3. Phosphorus triiodide. Okay, we get one of an unstable compound. This unstable compound, again we are thinking we get EP. Okay, this is also one of the important question. Try to learn this question. Reaction of Reaction of glycol. What is the formula for ethylene glycol? CH2OH. CH2OH. Ethylene glycol and react with PI3, phosphorus triiodide. So here the OH is converted into adding I. This also OH is converted into adding I. So we get one of an unstable compound. That is about that CH2I. CH2I. Okay. Here we are heating this product, we are heating. Here iron is replacing it. I is leaving out. We get we get CH2, 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 CH2. Name of the compound is what? ET, otherwise called ethylene. Okay. 
Next one is reaction with constant red nitric gas and also constant red sulfuric acid. Reaction of uh, glycol with concentrated sulfuric acid and concentrated HMO3. Okay, concentrated sulfuric acid and concentrated hydric acid. Okay, glycol, we are going to write a glycol CH2OH, CH2, okay, so ethylene glycol. This ethylene glycol on reacts with concentrated H2SO4 plus concentrated HNO3 concentrated HNO3 here the concentrated nitric acid can be written as HO NO2 HO NO2 we are taking two moles okay two moles the hydrogen combines to OH2 form water hydrogen combines to OH2 form water so what is the remaining product CH2O NO2 CH2O NO2 we are saying Tri dinitro glycol CH2O NO2 CH2O NO2 dinitro glycol. Don't forget that dinitro glycol. Okay. And also one more reaction. Very very important question. Ethylene epoxide. How will you prepare ethylene epoxide? This is one of the problematic question. Uh, and the problem they will ask about this question how is ethylene epoxide prepared? Okay. Here, ethylene glycol, the formula is CH2OH, uh, CH2OH. This is the formula for ethylene glycol. This ethylene glycol on heating at 773 Kelvin, we are heating, the water is replaced. Hydrogen combines the OH2 form, water is replaced here. So the product is CH2O, CHO, CH2, CH2, oxygen. So, okay, for the final answer is coming send there, we get CH2O, CH2. It is called for the ethylene, epoxy, otherwise called oxide. We can write I this name, 1 comma 2, epoxy ethylene, ethylene. Not ethylene, epoxy ethylene, okay. X Y, okay, X Y. Here we go. Our today assignment. I'm giving the assignment. What is the assignment? Try to like write the assignment. Uh, assignment. Oxidation. Oxidation of glycol. Second one, oxidation of oxidation of glycerol. Okay? Please all of you write the assignment. Thank you all of you. Thank you. Have a nice day.